Hello and welcome as we continue our journey into learning Python. Uh, as we talk about variables, uh, you're going to find that in programming generally and in Python, a lot of times in your programs, you're going to need to declare or have a lot of variables uh, and, and assign them default values. And, and we work extensively with them, you know, the larger the program becomes. So one, one of the questions or what are we going to cut for today is, can I assign multiple values? Can I have many values to multiple variables? Can I have one value to multiple variables? How can we unpack a collection declaring our variables? So there's a lot of cases where you have multiple variables and, and you want to assign them as quickly as possible. So this is where we're going to find that Python has an amazing way of making our life easier. Let's look into it a little bit together. All right. So as we can see, a lot of times this is how we would declare our variables. We have a variable X, a variable Y, a variable Z. The data type they accept is pretty much the same. It's the name of the fruit that you're going to enter. So instead of having X is equal to Y, orange, Y is equal to, Z is equal to, uh, one way that we could do what's called many values to multiple variables, many values to multiple variables, we can declare it as X, Y, Z, and then we'll just list our values in one line. They're all the same data type. There, so there are variables. What's going to happen here is X is the first one. So it's going to take the first value. Y, think about it as a spreadsheet where you have column A, B, and C, and you just want to assign A to take column A, B to take column B, and C to take column C. Similarly, we're going to say we have three variables. We have three values. A is going to take A, B is going to take B, C is going to take C. So now if we print, it's going to do exactly that. X, Y, Z is going to be orange, banana, cherry. Let's go ahead and run it. And sure enough, orange, banana, cherry. So this is what we call many values to multiple variables. Now let's look if we can have one value to multiple variables. We can have one value to multiple variables. A lot of times what happens is we want to have a default value. Um, you know, every time you use this field or this field or this field, you always want it to have the same default value. So whether it's X or Y or Z, when I start my program, I want it to be equal to orange. So what I could do then is have X equal to Y, Y equal to z and z is equal to orange so x is equal to y is equal to z and z is equal to orange so now by default they're all going to be the same so if we run this it's going to do the same thing and give us orange 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 because x is equal to orange y is equal to orange z is equal to orange x is equal to y is equal to z and all of them are equal to orange so notice orange, orange, orange is our output. So this is what we call one value to multiple variables. We have multiple variables and they're all assigned the same value. And a lot of times when you have to assign like a default value or an initial value, this comes in very handy. Finally, we're gonna talk about collections a little bit more in the future, uh, but for now, we're just gonna summarize it. So sometimes you have a number of values coming in as what we call a collection in programming. So let's say fruits. Uh, fruits, we can have three different kinds of fruits. It could be an apple. It could be a banana. Or it could be a cherry. All right. So now how do I set my variables? We would have, same as we did earlier, but this time it's going to go to the collection name. So we're going to have X, Y, Z equal to the collection name, which is fruits. So now in fruits, we have column A, column B, column C. Think about it as a spreadsheet. X is going to take the first one from fruits. Y is going to take the second one from fruits. Z is going to take the third one. So if we run it, it should show apple, banana, cherry. Well, let's see if we're right. And sure enough, apple, banana, cherry. OK, so we looked at three ways uh, how Python variables where we can assign multiple values. The first one was what we called many values to multiple variables. So we have many values to multiple variables and how we can assign that quickly. The second example that we looked at is one value to multiple variables. We have one value and we're assigning it to multiple variables. And then we finally looked at how we have a collection and what we call unpacking a collection. So we have a collection, 
and pretty much we unpacked that into the variables that we have. So unpacking the collection. All of those examples, if you go to kinseytech.com and look at the Python course, you'll find the document in there that you can download it and run those examples. Best of luck and see you in the continuation of this journey. Thank you, thank you, thank you for joining us in today's session. We hope that you enjoyed it. And we'd like to invite you to a lot of our free sessions. Simply visit our website at kinseytech.com events. Thank you again.